Hello everyone, my name is Ashan Jolly and welcome to a microphone comparison between the Sennheiser MKH416 and the Neumann TLM103. So, I've gone through a lot of microphones right now trying to find the right one for my voice. I started out with a Rode NT1A, which was a it was good for the price especially. Then I bought an Electrovoice RE20. You can see the comparison between the Rode NT1A and the Electrovoice on my channel. And, well, <laughs> then I started wanting to upgrade to everything I saw. So then I sold the Electrovoice and bought, bought a Shaw SM7B. Some can say that's a step down, but I remember that Markiplier used to use that microphone like a few years back and thinking... If it sounded good for Markiplier, it would sound good for me. Even though there was nothing really wrong for the Electro Voice, but it sounded a little bit muffled. Which later I came to realize it's because they were both dynamic microphones. The Electro Voice and the SM7B both sounded a bit muffled. Maybe that was just for me, but I had to run through a FET... Bump the reflection filter, sorry about that. I ran it through a FET head into a DBX 286S, and then into my uh, audio interface which then at the time was a cheap Behringer UMC 204 HD. Since then, I've upgraded to an Audient ID14, which I've heard is a really, really good interface for the price, at least. Which now brings us to these two microphones. So then I bought a condenser microphone, the Sennheiser MKH416. I was actually originally looking to buy a Neumann TLM 102, but I saw that this I could find for cheaper on eBay, so I bought this instead. But then, I was recording a radio ad for this uh, local radio station nearby, and it, sh it just didn't have the, the, the oomph, the, like, power or bass that, like, I required. I've got quite a deep voice, I believe, but this, the Sennheiser just didn't really make, do that any justice. It just kind of, uh, I don't even know, it, it's, ugh. I can't really describe it, I just feel that my voice didn't sound as deep as it actually is in real life. Which, uh, I just didn't like. I, w I wanted a, mi a mic that made me sound like I had a very strong voice, which I believe I do. I used to do a lot of acting in college, and I always played the really powerful character. You know, got that Henry V monologue. Once more unto the bridge, dear friends, once more, or we close this wall up with our English dead. In peace, there is nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility, but when the blast of war blows in our ears and imitate the action of the tiger, stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard, favoured rage. See, that's sort of, that's sort of, that's my style. I want like a microphone that, pa that picks up the power that I deliver with, and, well, the Sennheiser, it just sounded a bit thin. Like, the lower frequencies just weren't as strong as I wanted them to be. And, well, I tried EQing it, but then it just got a bit rumbly and, like, radio announcery, which I know was for a radio ad, but, like, I don't... I didn't want to have to do that every time. Because it was a great-sounding microphone, just I didn't like the way it made me sound, if that makes sense. Whereas, from what I've heard, the Neumann TLM-103 has more warmth, I, or warmth, or it was darker, or more bassy. I don't uh, understand microphones as well as some other people. Check out Booth Junkies, he's an, he's an amazing channel, I watched tons of his videos on micro comparisons. Shout out to him, he was amazing. So here, that's, uh, this is my latest microphone, and hopefully it lasts me until I can afford a U87 AI, because... Man, I've heard comparisons between a TLM-103 and a U87 AI, and... Oh my god, the U87AI, it just sounds so good. It just sounds so warm and just... It was perfect. I loved it. And, well... Can't afford that right now. I just, uh... Bought them both secondhand, this and that. This was around 360 this around uh, 450 So, that's kind of the price I could afford right now. So now I'm gonna do a Kratos impression and check out the proximity effect of both of these microphones. First up, we have the Sennheiser MKH416. I don't even know what that accent was, what the hell. We are not men, boy. We are gods. 
That was not even a line from the game. What am I doing? Do not be sorry. Be better. We hunt in the direction of deer. We are not men, boy. We are gods. Do not be sorry. Be better. We hunt in the direction of deer. I know that's not perfect. I was speaking quiet to try not to pop the microphones because I haven't got a pop shield up right now. And now I guess we'll test from a bit further away. I believe this one might do a bit better because it's actually made from for use from further away. So, this is how it sounds from further away. Straight away I can hear like a lot more reverb in my voice, even though I've got so much, well not so much, I've got some acoustic treatment in my room. I'll, I'll take a picture and send you all this later. I did have a reflection there, filter there, so it did catch a lot more of my voice when it was traveling that way and then absorbing it before it hit the walls and the ceiling and everything. Yeah, so about a, a meter away, so that's what, three and a half feet? That took a lot of estimation. I could have, you know, just measured. No, I couldn't. I lost my measuring tape. All right, that's whatever, really. Back up close to the microphone. Around six inches was where we're at. So then it's just a quick comparison between these two microphones. I'm shipping this out tomorrow, so if you have any request, then request me to do something with the TLM because, you know, I can't do anything about that anymore because I've sold it and it's shipping out tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys, actually wait, one second before that. Here is a test of the audio from my microphone on the actual phone, my, my Samsung S10 Plus. Let's test out the microphone on that. See, you can hear what it's sounding like now, and you can immediately hear a massive difference. The difference between these two microphones will be very small. It's something that I can hear, but you probably might not be able to because of YouTube's compression and the fact that you haven't been obsessing over microphones for the last month and a half. <laughs> I went through five microphones in a month and a half. Great. <laughs> oh well, well anyway, see you guys later and goodbye.